What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to introduce to you the CVM V30 microphone from Comica. This is an onboard DSLR or SLR microphone. It's a shotgun mic and it has some pretty unique features that I think are great, especially for its price point. So this is what comes in the box. We have our microphone with its standard wind muff, an already attached shock mount, and two AAA batteries. We also get an included dead cat wind muff. So this is especially useful when you're shooting in windy days. So this microphone comes with a built-in low cut filter, meaning that it can cut out most of the humming coming from AC units or refrigerators. We also have a 10 decibel increase switch. So you can make this mic a lot lower or you can set it down to zero decibels, which is the standard volume. We also have an LED indicator telling you when the microphone is turned on and when it has a low battery. So the shock mount that comes built onto the microphone cannot be removed, at least I don't think it can. It looks like it can resist a lot of shock, so this is a great shock mount for those handheld shots especially. There's a hot shoe mount adapter that can easily slide into any camera's hot shoe mount. We also have a non-detachable cable here, so you have to be careful, make sure you don't break it. But I do like the fact that it's stretchable, so it won't get in the way when you're shooting. All right, let's get to testing this microphone. So I'm gonna shut off my lavalier microphone and we're gonna switch into the built-in mic that's built into my Sony A9. Ready in three, two, one. Take a listen and see if you're actually happy with the microphone that's built into the camera. Most of the time, it's not gonna be beneficial for you. So it's great to use an external mic. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Comica shotgun microphone. Ready in three, two, one. So here we are listening to the Kamika shotgun microphone. What do you guys think? Obviously, I can't give you my opinion until I start editing this video. So make sure you pay attention to some of the annotations that I might be putting in this video, letting you know what I actually think about this microphone. Let's go outside and test out its range. All right guys, so we're standing outside right now in my backyard. I'm about, about five feet away from the shotgun microphone. Let me know what you think about its range. In a few moments, I'm gonna step back there, go a little bit farther back, and see if you can still hear my voice at my same speaking volume. Now I'm about 10 feet away from the microphone. Let me know if you can still hear the range, the clarity. Now I'm about 10 feet away from the microphone. Let me know if you can still hear me clearly, if there's enough clarity in my voice. And overall, are you happy with this microphone's range? Pay close attention to the quality of the audio as well. Now I'm about 15 feet away from the shotgun microphone. Let me know if you can still hear my voice in the comment section below. I'm speaking at the same exact volume. So again, pay close attention to the audio quality, clarity, and overall performance of this shotgun microphone. So now we're using the Sony A9 built-in microphone. Again, I'm sorry about this annoying sun flare. The sun came out a lot quicker than expected, but just try and focus on the audio quality and compare it to the Komika mic. So right now I'm standing about five feet away from the Sony A9 and uh, just try to focus on the clarity range and see if you can compare this audio quality to the Komika mic. Let's step back. Now I'm about 10 feet away from the camera. Can you still hear me clearly? Is the audio quality better or worse than the Komika? Is the range good enough compared to the Komika? Try to focus on that as well. Let's step back to about 15 feet. Can you still hear me? Is my voice still clear? Can you understand what I am saying? Hopefully you can, but I already know that since because the Komika is a shotgun mic, it's gonna have a much longer range than the built-in Sony A9 microphone. Right now we're listening to the Komika CVM V30 shotgun microphone. Notice if you hear any weird hissing or humming coming out of the mic. Now we're listening to the Sony A9's built-in microphone. Try and compare the two.
Well, that's the Comica CBM V30 microphone. It's an excellent choice for budget filmmakers and it's a great complement to your DSLR or SLR camera. If you're interested in this product, go ahead and check out the link for it in the description box below. Also, don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Ryan Little. <laughs>